first, family. First. You must have a disdain for it and say, this is not who I am. And look what happened afterwards. After Jesus, or after Spider-Man took all that black muck off of him. At the place of God. He goes back to his suit and picks it up. He may think to himself, yes, I'm back. I'm free again. I'm free to glorify my creator, and I'm free to, 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 for, for, the, for the goodwill of all mankind. We have been created for freedom. We've been called into liberty that we can glorify God and that we can serve one another. The power of Christian freedom, family, lies in that very fact. That as we, that as we understand that we're no longer under the slave of sin anymore, we're no longer under man's perception or doctrine on how we should be doing things, then we can be free to do what we want to do. Yes. Yes. Let me we can be free to do what God has called. Free. The power lies in us, our ability, our strength and ability to serve God and to serve one another. Are you free this morning? Yes. Is there something holding you back? Do you need to go to the cross and say, God, I want to be free of this thing that just keeps on entangling me? Paul says in Galatians 5.13, 5.1, stand fast in your liberty and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. I have called you, he said, to be free. 5.13, I have, I have called you into liberty, not you yourself. I have chosen you to be who you are, to, to free you from this slave of sin so you can become who you are, so you can fulfill your Destiny. Are you free? Seriously, are you free this morning? The power lies in your understanding. The power lies in your believing. The power lies in your heart and your conscience. And the power lies in you serving God and serving one another. 